Hello YouTube, this is Attorney Colin Wynn, and I want to talk about a topic or a field of law that I practiced actually when I first started out becoming an attorney, roughly six or seven years ago, dealing with IRS and state tax liability and possible tax resolutions. And this one, this topic, I'm going to keep it more towards self-employed individuals because their situation is a little bit more complicated than the average individual who is a W-2 employee and oftentimes just under withhold. And it's a pretty easy fix typically and um, the balances don't get too absurd. However, for a self-employed individual such as a truck driver and now with advent of the whole rideshare um, business and industry, we have Uber, Lyft and all those um, drivers are going to likely be 1099 employees, well not employees, 1099 contractors and they have the burden to pay their own taxes as well as record their own expenses. So most of these people you don't realize are not sophisticated tax individuals and they will get slammed when tax season comes around because they oftentimes don't keep their expenses because realistically you can expense a lot of things. For example, one of my most common clients are truck drivers. They are over the road. They have a lot of expenses. They're, let's say they, they gross revenue of $500,000 a year. That sounds like a lot to all of us, but it's really not a lot for a truck driver because when you, let's say, own and operate a truck, how much does it cost for fuel expenses? The fuels, it's, fuel expenses are usually half of what you're spending. Your, uh, what, what you're getting for your gross revenue. So you're offset half of it typically. And then you have over the road food expenses. Then you also have housing expenses and then maintenance and just upkeep of the truck. Those things just eat up your revenue. And oftentimes if you don't have proof of it, the IRS is not gonna allow you to claim it. And that's where people get in trouble. In addition, people get in trouble because they don't realize that they have to pay self-employment taxes. So the self-employment tax is supposed to be a replacement for FICA. So FICA for W-2 people has Social Security and all that stuff. Self-employment tax is really what that, that goes towards. So with that being the case, people don't understand that and they have an obligation to pay estimated tax payments every quarter. Whenever they're 1099 and they own their own business in a way and you usually have to file 10, I mean 1120 income taxes for their business or LLC, they have quarterly requirements to pay taxes and to um, pay any prepay any taxes. It's like a withholding for themselves. Whereas we get, like W-2 employees, they get withholdings taken out of their paycheck. That's going to be used to pay your taxes. Whereas these truck drivers, rideshare drivers, and other 1099 miscellaneous um, contractors, they they don't have that withholding. So they just get paid a gross amount. And you got to take that out and allocate towards that uh, field in the future when tax season comes around. And their tax season is four times a year. So they have quarters. And then they have to do a whole year's worth so it, it gets very complex and expensive. A lot of people get fines and interests, penalties, all kinds of stuff, just snowballing. Some of these truck drivers end up just not filing taxes at all because they're like, I'm, I, I don't want to file taxes because I'm just going to get destroyed. And that's what I kept on seeing. And they're, they're good for five, six years. And then the IRS catches up because all the income is actually reported to the IRS. It's just the IRS gives you time to file your taxes and whatnot, sometimes late, but you know, better late than never. And then they just slam you. Let's say you make $500,000 worth of gross income and you don't file your taxes, the IRS will file taxes for you and they will not give you any deductions. Primarily fuel costs and all the expenses I just talked about, you get nothing. So you're literally making $500,000 in their mind and you're paying taxes on $500,000. So it's a major issue for a lot of people. It's actually one of those things where you have to be diligent, you have to be compliant, you have to know what you're doing. So advice is big early on and estimated tax payments are it's very complicated. Um, it's going off what you made last quarter of last year because they understand the IRS knows that um, certain fields are in their season. You know, they make more money at certain times. So like they try to compare it to the same quarter of last year, let's say March 2018 versus March 2019 versus March of 2020. So that period of time, um, the first quarter, and that's when you report the first um, three or four months of the year, and they try to look at your income, and you have to kind of have a deposit to prepay your taxes. If not, then they're going to penalize you at the end of the year for not prepaying and for interest that you owe them. So it's a very, very common issue. And with Uber and Lyft, it's going to be even more of an issue. The IRS is trying to go around and chase these people down, and they will get their money. It's just a matter of time. However, I can talk about other resolutions later on. This is more so tax of, you know, guidance and advice to avoid it. But there are other ways. Let's say you, know, you can't go back in the past. Um, there are programs the IRS has, and you have to qualify for them. But you'd be surprised. The IRS only has 10 years to collect your taxes, your back taxes, from the date you file, typically, unless there's an audit, and then that's from the date of audit. But typically they have 10 years, and if they can't get it from 10, within 10 years, it really is wiped out, like it never existed. They don't have liens or anything like that. It literally just becomes null and void, and the whole record is just gone. And I've been able to do that for a lot of the clients.
Hello YouTube, please like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video informational and also comment below if you thought there were um, some issues that you wanted me to answer and possibly address as well as any you know future recommendations for videos that would be greatly appreciated and I will be back with future content. Thank you very much. Have a great day.